Hey everybody, it's Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I want to talk a little bit about my 2021 goals, collecting goals and channel goals. So if you want to check that out, stick around. All right, so uh, hopefully everyone had a happy new year. Um, 2021 brings a new year and new excitement. So uh, that being said, I want to share with you guys my uh, 2021 goals for uh, collecting and my 2021 goals for the channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm about 18 away from 500 subscribers, and once we get there, We'll do my um, live, you know, drawing for the contest. I got a big stack of books that's going to be going out to the winner. And then during the live stream, I also have the, um, I'll do the drawing for your chance to pick your slab. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, as for the, the channel itself, we'll do the, we'll do the books after. Um, I was on uh, Steve's channel with uh, Kevin. We talked a little bit about our top five uh, comics for 2021 so I'll do a recap on that afterwards um, as for 2021 channel goals let's see um, let's start off with the uh, the most basic one and it's basically getting to uh, 500 subscribers you know that's gonna be the quickest one it's right around the corner I only have about 18 left to go um, and then from there I'm gonna try to have a pretty uh, ambitious goal and is try to get to uh, 1,000 subscribers by uh, the end of 2021. So that'll be my first goal. Um, goal number two for the channel. Let's see. Um, so this year, well, this past year, uh, my goal was to uh, try to meet some uh, comic book uh, YouTubers, you know, creators in the uh, just out in the wild, you know, doing some hunting. And uh, I was able to. Uh, to uh, meet up with four uh, comic YouTubers and uh, you know doing some hunting, just doing some hanging out. So uh, my one of my 2021 goals, goal number two, will be to double that. I want to meet you know at least eight um, you know comic YouTubers or Instagrammers, you know, uh, just going out there having a good time, just talking comic books and uh, you know just meeting up. So uh, with con season right around the corner and yes there will be cons in 2021 i guarantee it uh, i'm hoping to meet some more uh, creators out there so uh stay tuned for that uh so that's goal number two um goal number three goal number three for the channel i want to do some more uh aoks i want to give back more to the community i did a little bit about of that in 2020 and uh, for 2021, I'm going to do some more, uh, some more AOKs. So um, I got a, you know, a collection that I want to, you know, slowly downsize. And uh, so with that being said, um, expect more OKs from Mark Spectre Comics. So <laughs> that's goal number three. Uh, goal number four, with the previous statement, um, I want to downsize the collection a little bit, you know, in 2019 and in 2020, I um, I bought a lot of books mainly from like New Comic Book Day and you know just sometimes just chasing the you know the hot book the you know FOMO and all that stuff and uh, that's not really my collecting goals you know what I want to have in my uh, personal collection so um, one of the uh, you know goals for that is to slowly downsize whether that's you know selling more books, like I said, giving some AOKs. And uh, I, I want to get it down to like a third of what I have right now, which is about like five short boxes, one long box of comics. So I want to get downsize that by a third. You know, it's a pretty ambitious, but um, I, I just want to downsize it so I can work on um, obtaining some of my uh, 2021 goal books. So that's goal number four. And uh, the last goal for the for um, my channel is um, for goal number five is just buying less less new comic book day uh, books you know um, with the previous statement there downsizing the the uh, collection 
Um, I was, you know, buying a lot of new comics, and sometimes I just wouldn't have time to get to it and read. And um, I've been doing a lot more uh, digital reading just so I can help work on downsizing the collection. So I'm going to, I'll pick up a book here and there when I get to it, because sometimes I just can't get to the comic book shops on a weekly basis. It could be a couple of weeks sometimes, uh, depending on my work schedule. So um, getting less comic books from new comic book days is my last goal. That's, that's fairly easy to do. So uh, that's my five goals for the channel, you know, in, in collecting per se. The actual top five books I want to get for 2021, like I said previously, I did that on uh, Steve's channel with, uh, with Steve and Kevin a couple of weeks ago. So if you hadn't seen that already, I'm going to do a, a recap on that for uh, my channel. All right, so for my 2021 top five list, before I get into that list, I want to do a quick recap of my 2020 goal books. And uh, I encourage all of you guys to do a quick recap of your 2020 uh, goal books to see if you actually completed what you set out for. Um, I was able to obtain almost all of my list. Um, so the books in question, it was a classic Frank Frazetta cover. So I got Weird Science Fantasy 29. I got that in the CGC 4.0. I was stoked to get that book because that was the one book I didn't think I was going to be able to get because it was... You know, it's a Golden Age book. So uh, I was able to get that. Um, Thor 166, the first appearance of him that later becomes Adam Warlock. I got that at a, a CGC 6.0. Um, completing my Eternals run, which uh, I was able to do that thanks to uh, J. Hood. He ended up having a bunch of the, uh, the filler books. So I was able to complete that run. And then the... Last book was uh, Werewolf by Night 32. I wanted to get that in around the CGC 5.0. Um, that was the one book I was not able to get because there was some info throughout the year, mainly in the summer when I was when I came close to getting the book, and then info came out that the series was coming, and then there was casting later on, and then the price jumped up. I was trying to aim for a, a 5.0 at the time. And um, at that time, the book was going for around six fifty something like that, and then right around now, it's going for right around a thousand. So I missed the window on that book, um, and I'm hoping I'm able to get that in 2021. So um, let's roll that over into 2021. My top five comic books or comic, um, you know, books I want to get for the for the year. So number five. It is uh, continuing on with the Golden Age artists that I want to slowly get into more of. Uh, I want to get an L.B. Cole cover. So um, L.B. Cole is known for some great classic, um, you know, pre-code horror, you know, and in various categories as well. But a lot of his artwork is, is um, known for that, you know, pre-code horror. But I don't necessarily want to get one of his classic covers because that's going to be very expensive. I'm just looking for like an entry level book. Um, and there's, there's definitely a lot of affordable ones out there. So, uh, I want to get one of those and preferably not like a detached cover or anything like that. I want, you know, a complete book. So that's my number five, uh, number four, number four. So number four was to, uh, complete my first volume of the Moon Knight collection. Um, there's 38 issues. Um, I got most of it already collected. Um, there's only one key left I have to get in that one. I think it's uh, 14, which is the first stained glass scarlet. The rest of them are all fillers. Um, just slowly picking them up as I go, you know, went to LCSs and flea markets and stuff. So that's number four. Number three. So number three is um, picking up a Submariner Comics number one from the Silver Age. I already have uh, the book that predates uh, Submariner number one, and that's uh, Iron Man and Submariner number one. I picked that up a couple years ago, and I uh, was able to get that signed by Roy Thomas. So that was a cool book. So I want to get Submariner uh, number one from the Silver Age. All right, down to the final two. So uh, we talked a little bit about this. This was the 2020 goal book that I did not get 
and it's going to roll over into 2021. This book I have to get in 2021, and it's Werewolf by Night, issue number 32. Um, still want to go for a round of 5-0, um, and uh, with con seasons right around the corner, yes, there will be cons in 2021. I'm going to hope to get one at one of the local cons. So that's uh, number two. And to wrap it up, number one for 2021 is a Golden Age Submariner Comics um, from the Timely Run. Any book in that run, complete book, you know, I don't want a detached book, but any book from, the, uh, from that first Golden Age series uh, for Submariner Comics number one. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, um, my 2021 goals for the channel and for collecting. If you did, please hit a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm only about 18 away until we do the contest. And uh, until next time, Smart Spectre Comics, out.